Over 1,200 people just ordered it. So we are crazy, crazy busy. Uh, we have another hour coming up with our best value of the day. Uh, so here we go. Guys in the Garden, special Saturday, hour number three. Welcome back. Quick break. Uh, we're right back. So we have our third hour. We have our best value of the day coming up. And I will tell you, do you know how many people ordered it in the last hour? Close to 5,000 orders of our today's special in the last hour. Crazy. Let me show you what's coming up in this hour. All right, you ready for this? This is, this is going to just, it's called knockout for a reason. This is our one piece peachy knockout rose for $19.95. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta buy this today. Look at this, gorgeous. And these are all real roses. You're gonna get the bare root to, to stick in the ground and then just wait for those roses to pop. It is so pretty. You have intense, beautiful pink blossoms. Oh, oh, the smell. Oh my gosh, <laughs> don't you love roses? 1995, wonderful Mother's Day gift. You will get the bare root stock, which is right here. I'll show you really, really quick. So this is what you get. It's ready to go. This is how you want to buy roses. You don't want to buy them already with buds on them. They're going to fall off. You want to grow like this, put, cover it with soil, and wait for the roses to pop out. In a season or so, you're going to have roses that look like that. Absolutely beautiful from Leaf and Petal. It's my star of the show. That's coming up a little bit later, but get ready. The absolute best value that we have done on incredible solar lights. They're called the disc lights. They're special. You get 10 of them. Our very best value of the day. Here we go. Yeah. All right, here we go again. And I am so excited about it. We still have every color available. They're called Bell & Howell Disc Lights. The most amazing solar light you will ever find on the market. An instant transformation of your property. Why do people love them? They're so easy. All you do is lay them on the ground, but these have the swivel. So you can lay them on the ground and you can swivel them up. You can mount them anywhere. They've got a little keyhole on the back to mount them. So if you wanna use them outside uh, as lighting for your patio, you can do that as well. Look at the beautiful, powerful LEDs. Eight per light. They are gorgeous. And remember, no trenches to dig, no wires to deal with, no batteries to buy, no, no cords to plug in, no timers to set. S uh, sun comes out, all right, charges them all day, sun goes down, the lights come up. And here's the feature that we love so much is that these have the swivel. So when you see them on the ground like this and they're laying flat, I can swivel them up so now I can direct that light anywhere that I need. So I can direct it to a tree, I can do it to the, to the property itself, or I can just lay them flat. When you order, you will get 10 of these. They will come with the garden uh, spikes. And the reason we give you the spikes, a lot of people want to put them in like mulch or they want to put them in like stones and areas like that and they don't want them to get kicked around. You simply pop in the little spike and now you can put them right flat on the ground like this or you can elevate them a little bit. So now you can use that swivel almost, I mean, you could go all the way around in a circle, okay? But you can do that. So now it's lighting up the house. Now it's lighting up a tree. You will get 10 of the spikes to go along with it. Let me show you the colors because they're ridiculous, all right? This is called uh, brass or bronze? Bronze, dang, I almost got it. So this is called bronze. I'll turn it so you can see. That's the bronze color, beautiful. You'll get 10 of those. If you wanna order the white, we still have them available in white, great color. Uh, we have them available in gold. I have them available in stainless. And I have them available in the black, all right? We did, we sold out of the green in the last airing, so I'll have to wait for that next time we come around, but you're gonna love it. Why? Again, the easiest way to transform your property to give you not only a, a great look and a great glow and improve the look of your neighborhood, but to give you the safety of light. You know, when people see lights on a property, they think somebody's home. So you get that safety, you get that security. And most of all, like I said before, anybody can do this. You don't need to be, you know, a, a young strapping person to install this. All you do is put them on the ground. Very, very easy. Here's Lou Caputo to tell us all about it. Lou, do you believe it? 5,000 in the last hour, Lou. Crazy. And the green's gone. I hope you I got know. it, guy. I didn't get it. <laughs> it's all right. I'm glad somebody did. Anyway, yeah, Lou, these are amazing. 
No, they are, and we got plenty of colors left with these. Um, you know, and remember this too about these. When you're buying these, um, regardless of the color you're getting, they're all really <clears throat> stainless steel underneath, 305 stainless steel. So, um, oh, and the other thing about the colors is you can only get the colors here, guy. If you buy these anywhere else, you're getting just the natural stainless. So that's pretty amazing to be able to have all these choices. It's the largest set we've ever done, the most units, the most number of lights, the most LEDs we've ever done. These are 100% brighter than any we've done before. And the real, the reason is right here. It's all of these little SMD LEDs that are on these. These little guys right here put out a tremendous amount of light. See the, all these little dots? Those are actually the LEDs. They're surface mount diodes. Those put out all that light. They have a huge solar panel in the middle. And as Guy was showing you, that's the secret right there. These guys will rotate around 360 degrees, even when they're in the stand. And the versatility is unmatched. You can use them flat on their backs. You can use them mounted into the ground with the stakes. You can use them vertically, as you see right here, um, you know, and hang them because it does have that keyhole in the back for a nail or a screw. So, Guy, I think that these are some of the most versatile solar lights people are ever going to see. <coughs> I think that um, they're the easiest project they're going to do, and that's a, kind of a big deal for you and I. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's DIY <laughs> that you can do right now. Lou and I refuse to do any more hard work. We have no done more. enough. I have painted <laughs> enough things. I have done yep. enough work in the yard, all that. All I want is easy. That's Lou, Lou and I's, that's, that's, that's our New Year's resolution. As uh, you know, we're trying to uh, put this COVID thing behind us the best we can. This is COVID friendly because like I said before, you know what, it's easy. And I know you've got a lot on your plate. If you want to decorate your yard, why not make it easier than it's ever been before? Over 19,000 people have picked this up today. And this is only our third live airing. It's only the third airing, so get it home. You'll love them. Once again, this is called, uh, these are the bronze. They come in white, they come in gold, or they come in, uh, they come in black, or they come in stainless. I have all the colors uh, that are out here available. We did sell out of the green. But for me, you know, and back to what we're talking about not doing work, there, yeah. nothing could be easier. You know, in the old days, when you had to install, oh, yeah. uh, uh, you know, regular landscape lighting, you had to buy a transformer, which basically connects the wires to the lights. You had to dig mm -hmm. trenches for the lights. You, you would have a hard time putting lights like on either side of a sidewalk, because where's the wire gonna go? Right over the sidewalk, yeah. you couldn't do that, right? right? You had to go out there and set the timer. You had to plug them in. They, believe it or not, they were expensive to run because they were running on halogen bulbs, which just suck up energy, right? Or incandescent bulbs. So now you've got something that even though, the, you know, for the most case, LED is a little more expensive, for, uh, you know, for that kind of power, it saves you so much because it, it runs off the sun. You never have to worry about plugging anything in. And they look beautiful. They're very low profile. Uh, Lou, you've got a variety of ways that, you've, uh, that you show these, which I love because they're not just for outdoor. If you charge them during the day, you could always bring them indoors and use them inside as well. But even yep. like for safety reasons, Lou, for walkways, pathways, stairways, they're ideal. Yeah, I always say that these are for safety, they're for security, keeping away the bad guys, and they're for beauty. I mean, just look how great those look in that flower bed right there, lighting up those bushes all along the path on a staircase. I love this use here to put them around a hot tub, a pool, on your deck, I mean, any place like that. And that's the thing about these. But what's really amazing, Guy, is that you can have the look of that low voltage lighting, of that installed wired lighting without any of the hassles of it. I mean, when you look at these, I don't think anybody would walk onto your property, look at this and think, oh yeah, those are just solar lights. They don't look like solar lights. They look much, much brighter, as you can see right here. I mean, even if I take this guy and I just hold it back here against the wall, look at the way, it's like a flashlight on that wall back there. I mean, that's a lot of light coming out of a solar light. But think of the ways you can use them too. I've got some sitting out here, just to show you real quick, um, weatherproof, okay? Take a look at this. You can see the water not bothering them, and they're so bright, they're actually turning the mist into a, actually a really nice little light show right here. The other thing is if you're having parties and you wanna maybe use one as a coaster, boom, right there, that's kind of fun for people. We usually, we actually have ours out by our living room set outside. We've got one on our patio, and we have a whole set out there that just sits on tabletops because it's that pretty, and you don't need to use other lighting because these really are that bright guy. These things are crazy, and it's the biggest deal ever in these lights from Bell and Howell. Yeah, yeah. Ever. Lou, man, we first started, we offered yeah. uh, we offered these in, in a four pack, and then we did them in a six pack, and because we, we kept getting people yeah. that were ordering more than what's. Growing. Yeah, then we did an eight an eight pack, and, and Lou is finally like, you know what? We get it. People are not, they, they want more than what we're offering. So we did a 10 pack, and believe it or not, 
we have a lot of people that are buying two and three sets of these right now because they're like, you know, this yeah. deal is so good at 39 bucks for 10 lights. I mean, think about it, it's less than $4 a light, right? I mean, come on. You've gone out and, pr and, and, and priced out like, you know, hardwired lights or the real, you know, the ones, first of all, Lou, have you seen the ones that actually have a separate panel on them? Oh yeah. I'm not, I'm not a yeah. fan because they're big, they're clunky. You see this big panel and a light. It's like these, yep. there you go. That's it. It, I mean, I, there's a reason why people love disc lights and why they've been so uh, successful and popular at HSN. They look nice, they're easy, they last oh, yeah. a long time. Hey, talk to everybody about what they're made of, would you, Lou, real quick? Yeah, these are 305 stainless steel, so that's why I feel totally confident having these outside. I live on the water, and it's salt water, okay? So you know what that does to any kind of metal, but the 305 stainless steel stands up to that. And you know what? It's it, Beyond how, how tough these are, how durable, how bright they are, it's the ways you can use them. I mean, like, here's a safety aspect, you know? It's also beautiful. If I want to light up a staircase and keep it safe for my company, um, I have a lake, and I have um, them on the fence posts around the lake, and I think that looks absolutely gorgeous back there. My neighbor has them on all the corners of his dock, which I think is really cool at night. It's a nice little feature for me, too, because I can see it from my property. How about on your mailbox? You can use these vertically, and I think people with traditional solar lights don't think that way, but you can. Put them in your planters around the pool or on your deck. You see, I've got them out here on both of these, and they're throwing a beautiful light on everything. Or if you're creative like my wife, Kelly, you can do this and put them into your <clears throat> shelving over here and just look at the way, these are actually up lights, Guy. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we're actually sending the light up through each one of these vases and it's lighting just, I mean, doing this gorgeous pattern on the wall. That's how bright those are. There's even one in a plant down here. You can't see it, but it's down there. Uh, lighting up this wall all the way up to here. I mean, that's a lot of light for a solar light. You know, uh, we get so many different, we get a lot of feedback from people too, and I've gotten some, people are using these. Uh, what, are the, what are the things you put in the bags, you know, to light them up? What are those things called? The luminaries. Oh, luminaries. Is that what they call them? Yeah, you know, luminaries. You know what, yeah, what are, you know, Halloween when you put the candle in the bag? We get people mm -hmm. that do that with these for holiday. Like they will put them, you know, they'll put them in a red and a green bag and they'll put, you know, they'll put them all in front of their property so they can light them up. And there are so many different ways you can use them, not only just for industrial, but decor. They are, they're yeah. just, they're brilliant. So if you're joining us late, uh, I, I'm sorry to say we've already sold out of the green, which I wanted, but I'm going to have to wait till the green comes back. But Lou will get them back for us. We have several oh, yeah. colors you can choose from. Everybody that orders will get 10. All right. This is it in the bronze. And remember, they come with the stakes. If you want to mount them into the ground, you can, but you could just lay them right down. 10 of those. We have them in white. I have them in gold. I have them in uh, stainless. And then I also have them in the black. All right, so here's the stainless and here's the black over here. And remember the beauty of these, which we love, and let's pretend I'm, I've got this in the grass like that, is that I can, I can articulate and move it to any angle. So if I want to go, if I want to, want it to glow against the house, I can turn it that way. If I want it to go against the shrubs that way, I can do it that way. I can go straight up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it allows you to customize the light for your property, which to me, I mean, that, that's, that's the whole idea is that you want it to look as the best it can. You don't want to be out there having to move it and restake it. All you do is just tilt the light. That's all you have to do. It is so easy. And by the way, if you are uh, worried about it out, out on the grass, don't worry. It's at a level below the grass where, you, you know, if you set your lawnmower right, you shouldn't have any issues there. Um, you can use them indoors or outdoors. We just, we just went over 20,000. Are we already at 20,300? Wow, we are, we are, they are going crazy. Yeah. Um, use our, uh, uh, our express ordering uh, via the app um, or go to hsn.com on your tablet, computer, whatever it is. If you get a brand new HSN credit card today, we're putting $40 in your account. We're giving away money. All right, we're not just selling things, we're giving things away. You can take $40 and use it on the Today Special. And all you would have to pay is what, a little bit of, of uh, shipping and tax, Pat? That's it, right? Just a little bit, probably, uh, I don't know, eight or $9, and you'll get these home and you get to try them. Everybody wants them. They have been hugely successful. We introduced these, Lou, what, about three or four years ago? Is it that far back? Yeah, the original ones, which were just the flat ones. Yeah. The, the swivel ones we've only had for about a year. About and a year. remember, they only had half the number of lights that right. this one does, yes. half the number of LEDs, you know? But, Guy, let's talk about what these aren't. 
Because a lot of people <laughs> out there, I think, when they think, they're thinking lighting outdoors, they're thinking this. It's, it's the wires, it's the Ugh. trenches, Ugh. It, it's the timers that you can't see anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This is none of that stuff. And the other thing they're not is these. And not that there's anything wrong with these, because these actually do work. But they just threw a little tiny pattern on the ground. I'm talking about the typical solar lights. You go to the big box stores and you buy a hundred of these. And you know, okay, so they go out there, they put the little circles on the ground, but guess what? These are made of some sort of mystery metal. I have no idea what in the world this is. And it's got one tiny little LED. Look at all these. There are eight LEDs. Look at the size of the solar collector on this. Why? Because it's got one little sad bulb in it. We have these eight, not just LEDs, SMD LEDs, surface mount diodes, the absolute best that you're gonna get in LED lighting. And that's the thing about Bell and & Howell Guy, and we know this, they've been around for 110 years. Not a lot of companies can say that, but these guys have won Academy Awards for lighting, advancements in lighting. So they obviously know what they're doing, and every year they prove it time and again, coming out with new and better <laughs> lighting solutions for our homes. And I love these guys because, you know, versatility, beauty, they got it all. Big yeah. set, too. And, and you know what I love, too, is that you're spending $39 Versus yeah. if you went out and you bought, and I don't even, like I said, they barely even carry them anymore, but if you went out and bought a set of four halogen lights with the transformer, okay, you're probably talking at least 100 bucks, okay, at least. Probably 129 with the transformer for four lights. If you buy extra lights, they're like $25 a light. It's a money pit, because then what happens is as soon as those lights get wet, because you know they burn up, right? They crack. You've got to replace the little bulb that's inside. The little bulb inside for a two pack is like 15 bucks. It's such a rip off. Only to have to re replace it again in another six or seven months. No maintenance, all right? These are, what, these are LEDs. They run cold, all right, or cool to temperature. All right, they never are going to burn out. They never need to be replaced, nor does the battery that's pre-installed. All you do is turn that little button on when you get them. There's an on and off switch, and they will automatically turn on every day when the sun goes down, so there's no daylight savings time to worry about with a timer. Oh, do I have to ch fix the timer? Or what? They go out when it gets dark. So the heck with timers, you don't need them. Wherever you yep. live. If you lived in Alaska or up north, they'd, you know, they'd go on for what? Four hours a day and off for 20 or whatever the, however it works up there. Is it the other way around? <laughs> My, <laughs> Rebecca just corrected me. But you get it. So, so there, in other words, there's no fine tuning, Lou. Everything is done for you. Simply put yeah. them outside and watch that light come up. And Lou, these are really bright. They really are, and that's the thing that's surprising, I think, for people when they see these, they get them home, and they're like, wow, why did I wait so long to buy these, and why did I get one set? Because honestly, when you see how bright these are, I mean, even just standing here in my studio, I have no other lights on in here, and I look like, you know, it, like I'm sitting uh, with electric lights around me. You know, they're not, they're solar lights, and that's what's remarkable about these. By the way, Guy, I am no mathematician, but I think we may have surpassed two million right now. I'm not sure. I don't, math's not my strong suit. Two million, two million sold, I think. You know what? Not sure. Yeah, 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 Lou. Oh, the, gr the green is gone, Lou. Yeah, green's gone. Oh, no more green. No okay. more green. I gonna. I don't know what I get. I'm gonna have to wait. You th they'll, we'll probably bring those back though, right, Lou? Oh, at some point, yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. By the way, I want you to take a look. Oh, there's the graphic, over two million sold. Look at that, yay. yay. Um, <laughs> I want you to take a look at this here because I wanted you to see the angles on these. When you put these in the stakes, unlike the other stakes where the lights were flat, this centerpiece actually does move. Oh, sorry. This is actually does move, and you can aim that light wherever you want to, guy. And they actually incorporated that into the stakes themselves, which you could never, ever do before. Right. So, you know, when you talk about versatility, you talk about well-made, and you talk about crazy bright. I mean, look at my hand. If I put it back here, there's a lot yeah. of light. You could almost read my palm. Look, there's so look much it light coming and, off And if you see, you can see the individual LEDs, how they work. Yes. It is, mm -hmm. it is, I mean, it's science. It's, it's amazing to watch them. Um, and when they, and the, and the light that they give off is so nice and reflective. It's not like, uh, you know, a lot of times you think of, of uh, LED and you think it's gonna be the blue light. It's just this beautiful, like just great light. It, 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 it'll shine everything and it's really, really powerful. All right, so, and it's, it'll never burn out. So you never have to maintain these. You never have to worry about them. Let me go through the colors one more time. As we've got about, I think we got about six or seven minutes left. So this is bronze. Everybody that orders will get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll get all ten of these for thirty-nine ninety-five. If you want them in white, 
And uh, we get a lot of people that put the white um, uh, near their swimming pool. They just like how the white looks mm -hmm. near in and around a pool, right? Or Clean. A fence post. So, or a fence post. Good point. Mm -hmm. This is gold, mm -hmm. which is always a big color. I think gold is right behind the uh, the um, the bronze. All right. Then I have it in stainless. This is actually the original. These are the original ones that I bought. Oh, the mine yeah. don't mine don't have the swivel, which is the key. <laughs> Love the swivel. <laughs> And then That's finally, money. they do come in black. This is how they look when you when you uh, stake them into the ground. When you're putting them on the grass, you can use the stakes. Um, I don't, but really, realistically, what I like the stakes for is if you're putting them in uh, mulch, or if you're putting them in, you know, if you've got gravel or sand um, as a part of your landscaping or your xeroscaping in that case, um, they're great for that. But you will love them. No maintenance, easy to do, a great gift for mom or dad, maybe for Mother's Day or Father's Day. And and by the way, let's talk about safety. Um, Lou, yeah. you know, we, we you always say that first and I do too. And we've got some footage um, that we can show and Lou's got it set up. If you're having people over and you've got stairs, put them on the stairs. I mean, Lou's got yes. it set up. Take a look. Yeah. Yeah, please. I mean, that's what I always tell people is these are for safety, security, and beauty. And when you're talking safety, you know, you look at the staircase, you go, wow, that looks really pretty. It does, but I can also see every single step here. So when grandma, grandpa come over and visit, they can see the steps too. And that's kind of a big deal, uh, you know, at night when you've got a lot of people over on your property. I, you know, for beauty's sake, I just love it because you can put these anywhere and just add a little touch of light, a little shadow that looks wonderful. Um, when you look at this right here, a guy, we've got the one in the mailbox. You know what's holding that up, guy? Alien tape, you know, Bell and Hell. So we got that on here too. <laughs> and then you can put them in your plants as well. Uh, luminaries we were talking about earlier. I'm gonna get one of those out here for the next show. We get some luminaries out here. And then of course, my wife Kelly does that wonderful thing behind us. You can look at all these, but guy, safety, security, beauty, these have it all, the largest set we've ever done. And you know what? I'll put these up against any solar lights in terms of oh, brightness. These things are yeah, just in a heartbeat, crazy. In a heartbeat, Lou. In fact, that's yeah. that's really, uh, not, not no pun intended, that's really where they do shine because they are so much brighter than any other lights that we've uh, that we've carried or any other lights that you'll see on the market. It's the LED. And remember, mm -hmm. all you gotta do is put these out. The sun does all the work, all right? The sun will charge them during the day. They have a nice big solar panel that's uh, located in the center of the unit. Just gotta make sure, you know, you gotta make sure they get about, I, I say, minimum like three to four hours every day. Yeah, if you can get more, I would say it's so. better, but remember, we're talking about a very energy efficient lighting system. It doesn't need a full eight to 10 hours every day for it to light. It needs very little. In fact, I've got, I have similar lights um, that I bought from Lou, which are, are, are also LED. And I have them on my deck. Uh, <clears throat> they're the flicker lights, you know, the ones I love. Lou, oh, those I love get, the flame lights. Yeah, the flicker yes. flame lights. Lou, those get yeah. like, those get maybe three hours of sun a day. When I leave no. for work at five in the morning, they're still on. They are amazing. Yeah. So LED yeah. in, in and of itself uh, by nature is a really, really economical light. It doesn't need a lot and it really, but it gives back so much. We've got some just sitting here up on the, up on the deck and you can see, so at nighttime and there's a little bit of a step on this deck. So it would be nice to have this area lit up and you can see yeah. we've got them anywhere. And you know, we didn't have to install them. Just put them on the deck. Somebody kicks it off, who cares? You're not gonna hurt them. They are virtually yeah. indestructible. If you step on them, it's not a big deal, right? You're just like, oops, don't step on the light. I love the low profile. They're easy uh, to, to decorate with. There are no maintenance whatsoever. We are inside mm -hmm. two minutes, Lou, inside two minutes. And again, two minute we, warning. we are extremely busy. Use the app, go to hsn.com, order online, much easier, much faster. If you don't have an HSN credit card today, it's a good day to buy one. We're doing $40 in your account to get you started. <clears throat> and you could buy these because they're only $39. Yeah, you got to pay a little bit of shipping and handling and a little bit of tax, but still probably get these things home for about 10 bucks if you get a brand new HSN credit card and you haven't had one before. All right, Lou, wow. we got about a minute left. I'll let you wrap it up, bro. All right. Well, you know, if people are just joining us, they haven't seen these before, what you got to know about these, it's the largest set of LED lights we've ever done for from Bell & Howell. They have that swivel feature on these, which is just massive. So you're going to actually be able to aim that light anywhere you want. Regardless of color, they're all 305 stainless steel. And remember, you're getting a set of stakes with these for each and every light. So you can stake these into the ground if you want to. You can lay them flat on any surface, or you can hang them because we give you the keyhole in the back for a nail or a screw, or you can use double-sided tape, whatever you 
you want to do. But when you see these in person, Guy, I think you'll agree with me, these are going to go up against any lighting solution that's out there when it comes to the exterior home. And one of my favorite features, Guy, you mentioned it a second ago, no maintenance whatsoever. I don't know anybody that's got installed lighting in their house that they had wired where it actually all works. Yeah. So. Hey, Lou, <laughs> hey, you, you go right ahead and put this on my to-do list. You go right yeah, ahead because right. it is so easy. You will absolutely love it. Uh, get them home. I am so sorry for the big hold uh, on, uh, you know, on the lines, but we are crazy busy. But that's a good thing for everybody. You will get them. 732-470. Yeah. Lou, you are the man. And by the way, Thanks, I guy. would also like to reach out and thank Kelly. Is Kelly running the cameras? <laughs> Kelly's Kelly. running the cameras. She's in there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> thank you, Kelly. All right. We'll see you later, buddy. See you, man. <laughs> all right. We are going to take a break. But before we do that, I would like to give this to all of our Facebook fans. I wish I could hand this to you. How about instead I do that, I get you this. Can I walk over? Follow me. <laughs> Knockout, peachy knockout roses. How about that for Mother's Day? Oh my gosh, it's my star of the show as we continue. All right, we're stepping away. Be right back with more Leaf and Petal. There is nothing quite like shopping with a friend. So pull up a chair and shop with us. We'll be dishing the scoop on what's hot. Catch you up on what you've missed. And share some of our favorite discoveries. Come shop with us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Food has always been my passion, but the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. It makes the prep easy, and it also makes the cooking a whole lot of fun. From my kitchens to your tables. <laughs> Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. Let's celebrate the arrival of a new season with special deals. 48 hours of everything spring. From outdoor essentials to fashion to cooking to beauty and more. Find your springtime happiness. Now through Sunday on HSN and at hsn.com. Well, y'all know I love, 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 love the flower section of our show. We're going to start this one with something that just will absolutely wow you. If you've always wanted to grow your own strawberries, because you know, a pint of strawberries, five to six bucks, right? For one pint of strawberries. And you're lucky if they're all ones you can eat. And usually they get, you get some in there that are kind of yellow and not even very ripe. If you want to grow your own beautiful strawberries, this is called the 20 piece quick to bear strawberry. You will get this incredible stock. It comes in a bag like this. They're beautiful. They're ready to go. They've already got green tops on them. I don't know if you can see them, but they're inside the bag. And in the first season, this is what it'll look like. We put ours in a planter over here, and you will be harvesting strawberries. $19.95, free shipping and handling. I know you want strawberries. Get them. They're great for families. They're great for kids to grow with your family. We've got our favorite gardener, Miss Rochelle Grayer, is standing by, looking as lovely as she always does. Hi, Rochelle. Strawberries. Good morning. Morning. Oh, gosh. Strawberries are the best, the best. Can you hear me? I hear you. I feel like I'm a little diff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little weird in my earphones here. No, we got no, you. No, these are the best. I um, I grow these, and I've, I've grown them for years. If you ask any of my neighbors, I'm kind of well-known around here because my strawberries, which are these, these are the same strawberries that uh, growers who are growing the strawberries in your grocery store are growing. Uh, they tend to plant them in the fall. We're going to plant them in the spring. It doesn't really matter. You're still going to get fruit this year. But I will tell you, I've had strawberries for years. Every year, right around May, June, when they all come in, I get calls from all my neighbors. Can we come pick your strawberries? Because they have taken over a whole area. I'm telling you, I get like bucket loads of strawberries. <laughs> it's crazy. So literally one of those plants, you're getting 20 in the pack. You can expect to easily get a pint, a piece, a pint of plant per season, if not more. Wow. These are... Uh, quick bearing we call them quick bearing so that's why we're saying you can get them this season they will of course get bigger and better every year uh but you're going to want to plant these in full sun give them some water and uh they're going to spread they're, they they love to throw out what we call runners and mm -hmm. it's like this little baby plant like it goes in anchors in another spot and starts in one 
it's a great way to just kind of fill a hole. If you have a vegetable garden, I like to fill a whole bed full of strawberries. And it's just, you know, you can't ask for anything better oh than my gosh. fresh strawberries. The <clears throat> organic strawberries straight from your garden. I am ordering this today. I mean, for $20 and considering, I mean, think about it. You Such said, a bargain. You said we get 20 pieces and then each one will do about a, about a pint of strawberries, yeah. correct? Yeah. So yeah. we're talking At 20 least. pints yeah. of strawberries. If they were five or six bucks a pint, you're talking about over $100 worth of strawberries for $20 plus. You know where they came from. You grew them yourself. Look at how beautiful. And you can pick them when they're ripe. You know, like in the store, you got to get half of them are like yellow because they got to pick them early. When they are at their fullest flavor and you can see, look, at there's one right there. Can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it? Look at that one. That is so ready to be eaten and so ready to be picked. That mm. is how they're gonna look. And this is in year one, everybody. 1995, 745, 348. And by the way, how do you know uh, that you're gonna get them in time? Well, Leaf and Petal knows exactly where you live based on your order. So what they're gonna do is they're not gonna charge you until it ships out. So if you live in the northern part of the country, you'll get your strawberries or whatever flowers you're, you're ordering uh, towards the uh, end of April, early May. If you live in the middle of the country, you'll be getting them probably in a couple of weeks. And if you live in Florida or in the southern half, you'll be getting them right away. We do that because we wanna make sure that they grow well in your environment. You'll also get the leaf and petal brochure, which is right here. Uh, this one is for strawberries. So all you do is you open it up, I love, it gives you an idea of how they grow, but right here is the best part. This is their quick grow guide, and it gives you all the instructions, watering, feeding, all that great stuff. But if you love strawberries, this is the way to go. Free shipping and handling. Seven, four, five, three, four, eight is the item number. I can't wait to order this after the show. Oh my God, it looks so good. Yeah. All right, so uh, by the way, gonna remind you, we do have our $40 off if you get a brand new HSN credit card. Um, all you gotta do is open up an account. We'll put $40 inside your account for you. You'll absolutely uh, love that. So you can buy, heck, you can buy a couple of plants today with 40 bucks. We got a lot of them that are under $20. You can get that, oh, maybe put it towards that uh, that knockout uh, rose that we've got coming up later as our pick of the show. All right, we're gonna continue on. This is something uh, brand new for us. It is uh, the only airing of the day, and I wanna make sure I'm saying it right. It's Rudbeckia, Rudbeckia. Rudbeckia. I got close, Rudbe <laughs> it's got a lot of Ds and Ks and all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> this is called the American Gold Rush Rudbeckia. You are going to get three, one, two, three, kind of like Black Eyed Susans, right? They are absolutely exactly right. beautiful, $24.95 with free shipping and handling. Rochelle, tell me about these, I love the color. Oh. These are just like classic American flowers. These are you know, native to the prairies of this country, so we're all familiar with them, seeing them in meadows and whatnot. These ones have won award after award for being best plant. They like a nice sunny spot, and if they get that and just decent water, they will establish very well, and you won't have to uh, you know, baby them after that first year. Just get them established and they'll be really tough for you, but they will just bloom and bloom and bloom. They will naturalize a little bit. That is to say that those seed heads, which will draw in lots of very friendly birds, uh, but they will also spread a little bit, which makes it you know, really pretty for your garden just to kind of have a little bit here and there. And then you just get these flowers over and over again, the beautiful you know, black centers with the yellow blooms. They're great for cutting. They're great for the birds and the bees. Everybody loves them. And they just have that, you know, classic, beautiful meadow look. I mean, this, you can't get, a, you know, a more happy, you know, <laughs> look at that. The, they just are masses of them. Um, and each one of those is a plant. So they, they will get bigger and bigger year in and year out. They're very substantial plants though, even coming to you. I mean, mine right here that I have, this is probably eight or nine inches tall. Uh, just, you know, this is this is the ship, which is coming in the box. So I have three of them here. You get all three. I mean, this is a substantial plant right away to your house. So um, yeah, you can't go wrong with these. These are gonna look great with grasses. Um, all, you know, pretty much everything. These are real anchors of the garden. I have that shows you how, to, how, how it's gonna be delivered. And you will get three of these, here it is. And you can see it's already, look, it's already starting. There's little buds on top. See right there? A little bud right there. So yeah. these are gonna explode with color. You know what I, I really like about these two, um, um, Rochelle, is that 
you know, if you wanna use, do them like we have them in pots here, they're they're pretty compact. They're pretty tidy. I mean, they are yeah. jammed. They are. I mean, look at this. This is jammed with flowers. Look at here. I mean, it's like it reminds me a lot of just like wildflowers, right? You know, if you go on vacation, yeah. I know when I've been, um, I've traveled out west. I've gone out to Colorado and areas, and and uh, and also in Vermont. You know, in in fields in Vermont, you'll see plants like this growing wild. They are so beautiful. All three, yep. twenty four ninety five with free shipping and handling, and a great maybe a great also great um, to mix in with other wildflowers, Rochelle. Absolutely, uh, other wildflowers are. You know what? We have this uh, topiary poodle coming up here in just a second. I I was just looking. I'm like, oh, you know, these would be really pretty if you just put it in a container around something else like that sort of plant. So you can go either way with uh, the container or in the ground. These are perennials though, so they're gonna come back year in and year out. So I, I like to put perennials in the ground just because then I never have to worry about planting it again um, and save my annuals for my containers. But you know, gosh, this, yeah, this just mix with, mixes with everything really well. I mean, I love it with grasses. I love it with other, you know, daisy-like plants, uh, roses, like it doesn't matter. They are such a just beautiful eye-catching, moment and and they're native i just want to highlight that planting native plants means that you are going to support the native flora and fauna which means the butterflies and the bees and all of that that we really do need to support they already know this plant they're used to it in the wild they're going to love it in your garden as well and they're going to be grateful that you planted it so they have a little something to eat it's it's a really good thing to do is to plant natives. You know what? And, and if you needed to snip a couple of these, they'd look great in a bouquet, right, Rochelle? Oh yeah. How oh, pretty. I love things like this. I mean, yeah. and kids love. I mean, wildflower bouquets. Who doesn't love a wildflower bouquet? But yeah, and these are tough enough, and they bloom so much. You could snip half the bush, and you'd still not even miss it, and bring it right in. You know what I mean? That's yeah. how much they bloom. They're just throwing it, it out. Yeah, like, this this is these are fireworks. I mean, these are you're not going to be at a, at a loss for blossoms, <laughs> right? Perpetual. No. no, no. No, these remind me of my child. I grew up in Colorado and these do, they grow wild there. And I remember picking bouquets of them as a little kid and bring them in the house. It's just, they're just, they're so, yeah, that yeah. wild look. I'm kind of always drawn and, to that wild and they just flower grow, look. And long growers, it's, right? They grow year after year? They do, perennials. So these are gonna come with your one year guarantee. Uh, you're, yeah, just call us if you have any trouble at all. All right, if you want to get them, they're called Rutabecchia. I said it right that time. Uh, we still got those available. All right, so uh, this is a, a kind of like a half sort of decorative and half plant. You know, we try to include everything in our show. Uh, this is um, this one is called the Two-Ball Eugenia Topiary. You get two of the, uh, the topiary balls in here, the larger one on the, on the top and, or on the bottom and the, the smaller one on the bottom. This is actually how it's gonna come to you. So it'll already be started. This is the, the actual size, right, of the tree, dug. Oh, I love yep. it. So here it is. Your topiary is already getting started. Obviously, you know, you can trim it as you see fit. A living plant, $59.95. Grab, all you got to do is grab a container with this guy. Grab a container and you're good to go. Um, these, I think, uh, Rochelle, will add, you know, great variety and maybe some charm to your garden. Mm -hmm. These are mm -hmm. ideal on your front porch, right? You can decorate these, yeah. put some LED lights on them. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, fun. Yeah. Uh, that's a great idea. Yeah. So for tell me about well, this one. It, what, yeah. So these are, so here's the reason why you would want Eugenia. And it's because everybody loves that classic boxwood look, right? You know, we know boxwoods, they are, you know, famous in European gardens. That's what gives you all of those beautiful hedges and they're all clipped and topiary. But boxwood is, first of all, very, very expensive. And the reason why it's very expensive is because it takes forever to grow. It's a very slow growing plant. Whereas something like Eugenia, you get that boxwood look. We get that nice topiary. You can prune it. It has leaves all the way into the stem, which is what gives it that full lush look that makes you know it prunable and that you can shape it up. But it grows way, way faster. So it's not so expensive. And you get this nice full look that's really fun to play with. We call them the poodle poodle topiaries. I've got it here in a 16 inch pot just to transplant. I would say the minimum that you would want, I haven't transplanted it yet, but this is 16. I would say minimum of 12. You're absolutely going to want to put it in a pot. That'll make your life a lot easier and it'll make the plant a lot happier because it'll have much bigger root space to uh, grow into as well as to gather water from and you won't have to water it quite as much. But if you put it in an even bigger pot, 
you know, like these, uh, like Rebecca. I was just imagining, like, how cute would those big yellow flowers be with, you know, this Eugenia coming out the top, the little poodle topiary. I, I mean, so you can you can kind of mix and match. This is great for a container, though. You are going to need to bring this in, though. This is not a perennial. This is something that uh, if you are in an area where you get a frost. You're going to want to drag it into your garage or into the basement or the house or somewhere. But these look really cute uh, in your house as well. Just make sure they get plenty of sunlight when you bring them in and they'll be perfectly happy, which is so cool. <laughs> look at those. You know what I mean, like, Rochelle, like outside your apartment, how nice, you know, just to kind of dress yeah. it up a little bit. If you want to get a pair mm -hmm. of them, you could do that as well. Hey, Rochelle, what about maintenance? Do I have to deal with these or do I just kind of, you know, what I do with a regular topiary, just trim them from time to time? Just trim them from time to yeah. time. Make them, you know, into whatever shape you want. Um, topify yeah, them. Like I need to topify and them. And you don't even need, like, heavy-duty pruners or anything. Like, a pair of scissors would be fine. You, you, they're not, like, um, they're not super, like, you know, tough stems or anything. You could just trim them with just little scissors. Oh, I, I love them. All right. $59.95. They're available on FlexPay, $14.99. They're free shipping and handling. We have to shorten the time on this a little bit because I have two more things I have to show you, and I've only got 20 minutes left in the hour. So can I can I walk over? Oh, am I going to, can I tease these? All right, you want me to go this way? Watch out, fake everybody out. <laughs> totally faked you guys out. All right, uh, these are, look at, my director, Rebecca, is going to kill me at the end of this three hours. But that's all right. We, we love each other. It's all good. All right. Hardy hibiscus. I, you may remember this is our best value of the day. We have a, we've got a handful remaining, so we're going to do a quick special on them. $41.25 with free shipping and handling. They are absolutely gorgeous. We love these. Now, the version you're getting here is called Starbright. So you're going to get ballet slippers, very awesome, and summer in paradise. They come in pink, they come in red, and they come in white. They are beautiful. You get all three of these. And what you're going to get when you order, if I may, is you're gonna get the bare root stock. And I will tell you, these things grow so fast. Uh, the one, uh, Doug, the one, in my, the one in my house is already, which one is it? Right there? Mine is twice the size already. All right, let me show you something. I'm gonna grab this, if you guys bear with me. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Can I put this right here? Is that okay, Rebecca? And I'll stand right here. So this is this is what you're going to get when you order. It's bare root stock. You're going to get three of these. Basically, what you want to do is you want to put it up uh, to the soil just about there, bury it down underneath, give it plenty of water. It does like water because look at the size of the look at the size of the of the flowers on here. You'll get three of these. So plant them all separately. This is mine is twice this size. I've had mine in the ground for maybe three weeks and mine is this big already and that's after starting out like that in three weeks mine grew that fast water it get it out there it loves sun because if you look at, at these uh at, the, at these flowers come on back over these are the largest flowers i've ever seen on any plant and rochelle will talk to that that's actually is that my yeah that's my hibiscus those flowers on my hibiscus tree yeah it's a different one are like this big you can actually, we'll show you my hibiscus tree to give you an idea of the difference in the size of the blossoms. These are like dinner plates. Anyway, Rochelle, I, these are, were a hit when we aired them last week. Uh, we almost sold out yeah. of every single one and we've got a handful back. I love that you're gonna get three different colors. You could put them anywhere, they're beautiful. Oh, and these are honestly my, I, I mean, I love the other ones that we had, but that lavender one is my all time yes. favorite. I just think it is the prettiest thing ever. But yes, you're gonna get three stalks. The other thing that you wanna know about this, so these are native plants. I was just talking a moment ago about the Rudbeckia being a native plant. These are also native plants. So uh, this is something, again, that is just really good for the environment uh, when we're planting them. This is native to swampy areas. So if you uh, have a wet area in your yard, this is a real problem solver plant because as you know, if you have one of those kind of boggy areas in your yard, not a lot of things love that kind of environment. They, they you know, a lot of plants, it's too much water. So uh, hardy hibiscus, they are gonna love that. And the, here's the thing, you look at this and there is nothing in your mind that says I can grow that outside of South Florida, but you can grow this all the way up to the border of Canada. These are hardy everywhere. That's what's so amazing about them. You're gonna get these enormous, and honestly, these are the biggest 
biggest flowers that you can possibly grow. They're absolutely enormous. Oh, look at it. Look at it. I don't know what it was. Compared to her, I mean, I just love that picture. Look how pretty she <laughs> is. So and look how pretty <laughs> that flower is as big as her whole dang head. <laughs> I know, Don't I know. Put your, look at, and it's just It's as big as her uh, head. I you know what? That's an adorable <laughs> picture though, isn't it? Look at how cute it she is. is. But but honestly, imagine getting a picture of your grandchildren with their with, like next to these flowers. How much fun would that I be? Know. You know, making like a, making like a Christmas card out of it or something, you will love it. They are spectacular. Hey, listen, if you if you don't want people to notice your garden, don't buy these. Okay, I'm just don't telling you, yeah. do not buy them unless you love the attention of people going, wow, where did you get those? I am so excited because mine. If you come back over here, mine, Rochelle, I don't know if you heard what I said. Mine is is yeah. almost twice this big in three weeks. I'm shocked. I am utterly amazed. I am amazed. You know why that is? Is because it's so warm down in Florida. So these are really triggered by that warmth. So yeah. if you're up north, it's going to take a little while for that to um, to happen for you because it wants that warmth. But give it water, give it the warmth, yeah. and it'll be off and running. These are great late season bloomers too. So uh, they don't they take a little time to get started before they really start throwing out that blooms. But come July, August, whoo. Hey, These are going to be the real stars of your garden. Can yeah. I ask you a quick question? And, and maybe other people have the same question. Doug can probably help me out with it, too. Um, do I need to stake these? Because mine are getting really big. Should I stake them? I, I haven't ever had a problem. Okay. These, this... The, the, but I mean, if you do see that it's having a problem, uh, my guess is no, because these stems are pretty woody and pretty okay. tough. And so uh, they do hold up really I, well. I, yeah, yeah. I, I I've think, never had a problem. I think what's going, mine is still young. So the, so it's developing, you know, it's the, they're developing the stalk. So I'm sure they're going to firm up. It's just, it's getting so big so fast. I'm like, what am I doing? And, oh. all, and I haven't fed it. All I'm doing is watering. <laughs> so wow. it, but, yeah, it's a, <laughs> you know what? I don't forget. I, I live, you know, I'm, I'm in Florida. I'm near the beach. It's very tropical so my plants are probably really loving it there um versus you know yeah. a lot of times you know it's good or bad when you live near the beach because i've had difficulties with tomatoes and things like that and pollinating and, and stuff but these are growing like crazy so what you're looking at is the three varieties that you're going to get uh the one right here is called summer in paradise no doug what is it ballet, ballet slippers all right yeah the one in the middle berry <laughs> it's called berry awesome all right, I'll remember that. I'll think, uh, I'll think of that. Okay, so very awesome. And then finally, the one down here is called Summer in Paradise. To give you an idea, if you, you know, and I've got big hands, but to give you an idea of how big these flowers are, there you go. I mean, these things are giant, okay? When they come, when they come to fruition, they're gonna be huge. They are absolutely beautiful. They are free shipping and handling. Get all three. Uh, and you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting yelled at because I'm looking all over. I got so many cameras and flowers, but anyway, there you are. So uh, grab them while you can. It's the end of three hours. <laughs> We're doing the best we can. <laughs> Zero, nine, two, seven, eight, six. Hey, the voice is still going though. I didn't lose my voice today. That's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know if my, if my still talking is good uh, for my director. She's like, no, nah, maybe you should stop talking. All right, you ready? Are we ready for our pick of the show, for our pick of the third hour? Here it comes now. These are, are aptly named. They're called knockout roses. It's my pick of the uh, of the hour, if not of all three hours. These. <laughs> I just heard that thing go boink. That was funny. Uh, anyway. Anyway, um, this is our big pick of the hour. They're a customer uh, favorite. You love them. They are so pretty. You've got the most intensely beautiful blossoms. Oh, the aroma of roses is amazing. Very low maintenance on these. They are heat resistant. They are disease resistant. And they are, well, let's face it. They are, they're just lovely. All right, they are absolutely lovely. When you order, ouch, I forgot the roses. They got, <laughs> they got pretty prickers on them. <laughs> They got a little, yeah, they got a little prickers on them. All right, so here is what you'll get when you order. Bear with me. Come on, we got 15 more minutes for getting there. So this is what you'll get. You want to put it up to the ground like that, right? So this will be soil underneath, all right? And give it some good water. I like to feed a little bit of fertilizer to my roses, uh, you know, every three weeks or so because they are shooting out such beautiful, um, powerful um, blossoms with the intense uh, aroma of roses. So that's all you need to do. Remember... You're also getting 
the pamphlet that goes along with it. And remember, these are really low maintenance. You know, mostly roses. When you deal with roses, a lot of times you're constantly dealing with insects and all this stuff. These have been bred to be really easy growers. All the information right there from Leaf and Petal. Uh, and there you go, there it is. They will get obviously bigger and stronger each and every year. It's $20. And hey, Doug, how, how old is this plant right here? This is in its second year. Do you believe that? This is only a two-year-old. It's a baby. And look at all the roses. And we actually cut one earlier. And oh my gosh, is there anything? Is there anything like it? I'm going to save this for my director, Rebecca, because she's been, she's been tolerating me for three hours. But, but I'm telling <laughs> you, Rochelle, this, the, the, the aroma, I, I mean, it's, there's nothing like roses, right? It's beautiful. Yeah, roses are fantastic. Oh. I love knockouts. If you've grown knockouts before, you know that the knockout brand of roses is just, you know, if you if you ever worried about growing roses, we have our mini roses. Those are so easy as a low growing rose. These are going to be more like three foot mounds. Um, so these, you know, kind of have a little more bulk and substance to them. They can go a little farther back in the border, but they are just covered with blooms. They're so simple. They're not a big pest problem. They're not like, you know, some of the old roses. You can really trust that you're going to put this out in your landscape and you're not going to have to worry about it a whole lot after that. I do have, I pruned mine. I prune mine every couple years. I, I really don't bother. They can get actually you know a little too big sometimes um but they bloom like crazy they love the heat they nice sunny spot and you're not going to have any problem just having like blooms after blooms and these ones are particular pretty particularly pretty because they give you that peach the way that it looks peach because what it really is is kind of pink and yellow combined so it kind of has this two-tone in it but it reads as peach in the landscape but it, like you said um guy you're just gonna you're gonna get this bare root stock when you get it you want to get it into the ground don't let it dry out it'll be in a bag uh but i've got mine in a container you can certainly plant these in containers again i have the 16 inch i'd say that's minimum size for container but i honestly plant it in the landscape because these are going to be really long lived i think i've got my knockout roses the ones I, they're probably 10 or 15 years old they still pump out blooms um, every year. I'm excited to add some new ones this year because these new colors, it used to be that they were only the reds. Now we have these like peaches and uh, other colors, which is super nice that, that, you know, you can get, get these different, softer, prettier colors. I mean, just look at that color. <clears throat> that is just the nicest. I it's love unbelievable. peach. Can you yeah. imagine, uh, Rochelle, can you imagine being able to go out right out, you know, outside your patio and just being able to pick a flower, I mean, be able to pick some fresh roses every day. And, and again, I want, you know, we, we're, we want to be completely uh, transparent here with you guys. This is only two years old. You know, if this was five or six years old, I'd be like, okay, it takes a while to get, this is two years old, over 500 already spoken for in this airing. And it is going very, very quickly. And remember, th these are all growing flowers. And you know, here's the one that I just picked right here. I don't know where you are. There it is. This is the one that we just cut. So if you want to do cut flowers, they're beautiful for that. And, and look at the uniformity, look at the color. And you know what I love about these is even though they're peachy, I love the orange uh, tones in there, Rochelle, in the middle. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when you look at the peach flowers, it's it's not that they're actually all peach. It's like they're pink on the outside and like orangey yellow on the inside. And so, when, at, you know, it's just the way your eye reads it, it reads as peach. But actually, they're much more interesting than that because they have this kind of variation of color uh, from the inside petals to the outer petals, which is just so nice. And the fact that you're, you know, you're, uh, these are like what we call a double bloom. So they'll have the, um, you know, um, a uh, little more, there are more petals than a, than yeah. a single bloom, right. but they're, um, they're, uh, I mean, you're going to be able to see this from across your garden because this thing is going to be covered with blooms. So that, that's, <clears throat> that's, what's really, really they're, nice about you, these. They're just an anchor of your bloomscape. You know, you I know? have, <clears throat> I have a red rose bush at my house, but I don't get rose. I don't get uh, flowers like this. Like my, the, no. the red, they're, they're pretty, but they're smaller. And they're not, mm -hmm. they're not, like, these are almost like cabbages. You know what I mean? They're just jam-packed with, with um, petals. Whereas the ones that I have yeah. at home right now, and they're a different variety, I know that, but I really, yeah. I like these even better, right? And, yeah. and these smell, yeah. the uh, ones I have at home, I, they're like the little mini knockouts. They don't have as strong of, of a perfume as these do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, we have that, Doug. I'm not sure if these ones have the scent so much either, um, but they... Uh, 
knockouts don't tend to some of them do well, some of them don't i'm They're smelling not the them right i'm right smelling right. them right here and they <laughs> smell amazing oh that's yeah. good good excellent yeah so and the thing about it too is when you get bare root roses these are really the best way to buy roses um they because they first of all they ship really well but you also get a more mature plant when you buy bare root than if you were to buy something that was containerized and it has a more uh, i mean the roots on this i'm partially buried but this has like this ginormous huge root system coming off of it. So you're going to get that all ready to go. So this helps that establish more quickly. So you'll start getting blooms the first year. These things really go to town, right? You know, as soon as you put them in the garden, make sure you plant it right away. Don't let it dry out. I okay. want to say that too. Don't let it dry out. Otherwise you're, you know, going to struggle with that. But this is a perennial. So you do have the one year guarantee if you have any troubles with it. Just call us up. We'll uh, help you out with that. Let me uh, remind everybody uh, how we ship again. When you order today, you will not pay until your order ships, okay? And we ship at different times. So don't get frustrated if you live up in North Dakota and you don't get your plant next week because we, we know um, by your growing zone when the best time is to ship it. So you won't be charged until it ships. So if you live up there, in the northern regions of our country. You'll get yours a little bit later, more towards April and May. If you live in the middle of the country, you'll see when your growing zone is and when you'll get it. If you live down in the lower parts of Texas or uh, Arizona or California or here in Florida, you will see that you will be getting it probably directly. All right, right away. One year warranty on perennials with like this. So this will get better every single year. It's really something to look forward to. Um, you know, we just came sort of out of the dormant season here in Florida. Um, although I will tell you, my roses pretty much grow all year long. They grow better as we get into the warmer months. They seem to grow like everything. It grows a little bit better. Same with my hibiscus, but that's Florida. So remember, obviously, you know, you know, you, you know the treatment of what you do if you live up north with how to winterize your plants and all that stuff. And all that information is in the pamphlet that you're gonna get. We just went over a thousand of these spoken for, 1995, free shipping and handling. Um, Rochelle, tell me about um, maintenance. Do I have to do anything with it? As it, uh, it says they're, uh, they're uh, um, disease tolerant or heat resistant yeah. as well. Yeah, that's the beauty of the knockout rose line is that they are super low maintenance roses and uh, low trouble roses is really kind of the key. We know roses can often have a lot of pest problems and yeah. need a lot of pruning and things like that. Uh, these ones, they really don't need that. You're going to, you will want to prune them because in my case, you know, they just, they kind of get too big and they, yeah. I just want to shake them wonky, up a little right? bit. Some of them. Yeah. Yeah. They can get a little wonky, but you know, you also are going to want to uh, cut them to bring them into your house. I mean, I, I kind of do the pruning and the, the, the flower cutting all in one, you know, kind of thing. I, I'm kind of strategically doing that. So, mm -hmm. um, so, you, I mean, you will want to do that every year, too. I don't do it every year, to be honest. Uh, but other than that, you really aren't going to have much of a problem. I mean, of course, fertilize all your plants if um, if you want them to throw out even more blooms. Uh, you can fertilize with uh, the leaf and petal fertilizer, fertilizer or, you know, uh, even just having good compost is, is will yeah. help them tremendously. Um, so, yeah, th there isn't a lot that you have to do. That's the beauty of the knockout rose is that you get a ton of blooms with very, very little yeah, and that's why you grow them, right? You want the flowers. Yeah, that's why you, <laughs> you don't, grow, grow, you don't yeah. grow them for the green. You grow them because you, grow them you want the flowers. And as you can see on this two-year-old plant, it is jam-packed with flowers. I, right now, at, at, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get this after the show because right now I don't have any of my roses that are this full. Uh, I got the little mini knockouts, which I love, the little cute little roses. And then I got one taller one. Um, but I don't have um, yeah. roses in, in various colors. I only have them in red, well, red and pink. Um, and we've actually got, uh, there are... Uh, Next, uh, next show, we'll show you some of those pictures, but these are that beautiful, uh, real rich peachy color with a little bit of orange inside. It's $20. I'll show everybody one more time. This is what you're gonna get. And I, I know I called these prickers before because from New England, that's what we call it. What we used, I used to build, <laughs> when we were kids, we built a fort and it was called the pricker fort because it had these little things and we would cut holes in it and it would protect us from the imaginary armies that were taking over. But apparently these are <laughs> called thorns. 
and I shouldn't say the other thing. Let's be clear. No? All right, we'll say it. So be careful when you get these because they have thorns on them. That's, that's you know, that, yeah, I know how to say it. You can see them on there. Uh, bury it up to about here. And uh, to Rochelle's point, get it in the ground right away. You don't want those little tips to dry out because those have all been freshly trimmed. So you want to make sure those are good to go. Um, so enjoy it. You're going to love them. Uh, you'll love them. Great thing for mom for Mother's Day. Absolutely. Michelle, Rochelle, you are awesome. Thank you so much again for joining us on our special Saturday show. I will see you next week. I think we're back to Fridays next week, right, guys? Oh, back are we? All right. All right? I'll see you Friday then. All right. All see right. you later. Stick around, everybody. Who's coming up next? Allie and Cal. Uh, Callie and Alice. <laughs> March is Women's History Month in honor of the thousands of women who work with HSN and the millions who shop with us. We are proud to celebrate you all month long. We'll highlight women-owned businesses in our own HSN family as well as support women-owned small businesses across the country through our series, Small Business Spotlights. To learn more and shop, go to hsn.com and search Women Owned. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you 